Yo, what's good guys, your boy, back with another video for you guys. I know you guys like the Zark uh, combo tutorial, so we're gonna do a Zark deck poop on today. It is insane, 50 card, perfection. Before we get into it, uh, just wanna remind you guys my 10,000 subscriber special, this beautiful mat donated by RCG. We'll go to one of you 10K subscribers, wanna hit 10K, I'm gonna pick one of you guys at random, not just at random, but one of you guys whose name I recognize, one of you guys who comment all the time, who like all the time. I know all you guys, I look at all my comments, I love all you guys. I'm really appreciative of how far, how big I've gotten already. It's a short period of time, so I'll pick one of you guys. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. A few of your comments. Some of your co guys will comment all the time. Uh, it's hilarious. I love it. all your comments that are hilarious. Uh, I just have a great time doing this, man. So I love you guys so much. I can't wait for the 10K subscriber special. Uh, so I'm going to go right into the deck profile. Uh, again, I just lifted, but I'm not going to show you guys right now because uh, I'm not locals, locals all week. Uh, doing crazy videos for you guys. So I'll get back onto the lifting for you guys. I'll show you guys how to get big too. Because I'm getting bigger and bigger and stronger. Uh, so I want you guys to get it too, man. I want you guys to lift. If you haven't lifted already, go do your homework. Go get some money. Go do something, man. Because you, you girls uh, just a game. It's just a game. Why well, you have to be mad? Go do something with your lives, all right? So you're going to the profile. And before you go, also check out the links in the description below for the protein and creatine I use. And check out my Patreon. Let's go straight into the video. I know you guys love Zark as much as I do. So let's go straight into the profile. 50 card Zark. Zark Turbo first turn. If you haven't seen the profile, or if you haven't seen the combo tutorial already, go check it. I posted it last night. Now let's go right into the deck profile. So, to start, this is the actual way you make Zark. These are the four cards you need to make Zark. You only play one copies of each. No desires, just these. So you find different ways to search them. So these are the other one of cards you play. You just need it just for like the consistency of the deck. But now this is the way to get into these four. Aside from the multiple electrums, so you go three electrums first turn, send these out. And if not, you got three harmonizings to pen one of these out. Three wisdoms, put one of these in scale, pop with the extra deck. The whole point, put all these in extra deck. And this is hand or grave and you're lit. Three pen calls, three alliance, all these just ways to get into these. With pen call, you get two of them. And then dragon shrine. I used to play Odd Eyes Pendulum before this until I realized it's a normal. So Shrine is not just a turbo, it's like an extra extra card because an uh, extra amazing card. It doesn't just give you a free turbo card for Electrum. It sends this first and then you send Dark Worm. So it's a free way to get into this. It's a free way to turbo card and it's a free plus one. You get Dark Worm in the end. So this is the best card of the deck. You have to play three of it. And these are more ways to just go into these. Uh, you're guaranteed to draw one of these 15 or one of these 18. You always, you always have Zark first turn no matter what. So that's the way to go into the Zark. Uh, the ways to go into Zark, you're seeing four of these in the Gravehinder field with a choreograph. It's very easy. Just check out the uh, combo tutorial. It's very easy to do it as long as you have all the Electrums and the right cards in the deck. Uh, now into the Turbo cards. It's the same three shrines I told you guys about. The Foolish Burial, a one for one, because you want to max out as many ways to make three Electrums. And then we got these. So three Kermit, three Cerberus, three Chrono, enough set, three Shrine, Foolish, one for one. I don't need to explain any of these, it's just the max out way possible. The most max out way to go into three elections first turn. Because we go three elections, it's very easy to send everything you need to the extra to ensure no matter what you're getting uh, the boy Zark out first turn. And it's not just Zark, it's Zark, Firewall, Griffin. Now you need plus cards as well. Three Kepler, two Contract, one Thomas. Draw one of these six and you have Zark as well. Because you need the plus cards. So if you draw into Thomas, you just send a Kepler at it and then Chrono Kepler. You always get the pluses regardless. So drawing Thomas is really good. And then these, this is still a plus two, this is still a plus three. Draw any of them, you have enough pluses to triple Electro. All you need to do is triple Electro and you have, have Zark. As long as you get those, uh, have all, with triple Electro, you send the pieces required, right? And then more plus cards, three Bambuka, one Cat. Just more plus cards and even for, uh, let's say hands that they hand trap you and you can't Zark, it gives you an extra totem bird. So you still go three negates. Even if they hand trap, you still go two, three negates. It's really good to go Zark, but the beauty of it is why it doesn't brick, is if you don't have Zark, if you don't have Zark, you just go the normal four negate board. If they hand trap you once or twice, you go two negates, it's all good, right? It's all good. You don't have to go Zark every time. It's a bonus if you get Zark, but if you can't Zark, you still uh, put up to enough negates for them to not to play. And Zark, there's some sauce to Zark, bro. You can go Zark first to, I, have, I have a combo where I go Zark and then I pop Zark, I put it in my scale and they can't play. But that's disrespect to the boy Zark, man. You can't do that. Have him on board, and it's tough for decks to get over that, especially uh, Brick Strikers. They can't get over that. The three Dark Worm, one zero, more pluses. I used to play two Dark Worm, but now it's important to play three. Because if someone Gumblars you, uh, let them Gumblar you. You just send this to Grave and say thank you for helping me out. So uh, playing three Dark Worm is a must. And then the one hamster, uh, I've been playing one, it's very important uh, just for searching, and you don't really want to have three because you don't want to normal it. 
but sometimes a normal, just anything random, right? You don't need it much. And then uh, one jackal, I used to play two, and I play a basilisk. I used to not play a basilisk, but it helps out a lot just to draw a little more. A lot of times you get a free draw. Or I kept drawing uh, three servers, two, uh, one, uh, two of three servers and two jackal. But now you have Bashilis, so one Jackal is really all you need. I don't see myself pending out two Jackals. When I see two Jackals on board, I just go into uh, Narito anyways. So two, two Jackals not required, one is all you need. So Bashilis, the utility of it is nice. It's 50 cards, it's not 40, not 60. It's, uh, 50 was the perfect number I found. I wanted to play all these cards. I wasn't forced to take cards, I wasn't forced to put cards in. It just a clean 50 when I finished. I tried to make it 60, but there's too many filler cards, I took them out. I tried to make it 40, too many good cards, I couldn't take it out. This is the perfect number for the Zark deck. Doesn't matter if you play 40, 60, 51, 43, it's just a number, it doesn't matter. You gotta play the amount that of good cards you can put in your deck, throw all the good cards you can, and then when you stop with good cards, don't play, like don't put fillers in and don't take cards out just to make it 40. It, it makes no difference, as long as it's the perfect amount of good cards. So just so happened there's 50 good cards, we played those. Next, the extra deck, so that's the main deck. Zark first turn, now the extra deck. The boy himself, Zark. We go into him every first turn, that's the game plan. The real game plan, the three Electrums. You need to go to three Electrums, it's basically Exodia when you go to three Electrums. After you go three Electrums, it's very easy to bring with Zark with Firewall and Griffin as well. And then uh, these are also cards required for the combo. Uh, these, so Metaltron, if you can, if you have a Brick Hand or if they Hand Trap you, you go to uh, what, Metaltron with the two Electrums and go three Negates. Uh, or also if you go to normal, if you saw the video, you'll go three Electrums, you'll pend out three uh, Magicians, you Time Star, or you put Firewall in the middle, you time star, add the chronograph, and then you'll link away for the Metaltron to bring out another monster, Griffin, Fire, and then it ends up on Griffin, Firewall, Zark. So all these are needed for that combo to ensure that this is your first turn board no matter what. So check out the video, a uh, combo tutorial to know how to do this, just from three electrodes. So those are the combo cards of the extra deck. And now next, uh, some, we need interruptions. So we have interruption cards of every single rank level that we have. So for the level threes, we got Totem Bird, level four, Giant Hand is the best generic level four. No one plays it because it's cheap. No one plays it. One person, like, the top decks don't play it, so they don't play it. But the top decks don't play it because they don't know about it. They don't have the brain of a god. So if you think and have a brain for yourself, right? You realize Giant Hand is the best and most versatile rank four in the game right now. Uh, there's not one matchup where we're not playing Giant Hand against. I prefer Dweller with it against Guki, but what's Tornado Dragon doing in this meta? What's Dweller doing in this meta unless you play against uh, Goki? They both do nothing. They both do absolutely nothing. So you play Giant Hand. You side into some more sick cards from BLLR, which I'll tell you about later, but Giant Hand is the best generic game one uh, rank four you play because it's good against everything. And then rank six, Narito, rank seven, uh, the Vortex uh, combo. So those are the rank level three, level four, level six, level seven. And then now we have two more cards for utility. We have so many ways to go into Omega, so we go play one uh, Synchro Rates Omega. In the side, we play an Ignister and Clear Wing. If we, well, one of those, whatever you feel like playing, you switch them out, whether you're going first or going second. This is important, also game two and game three going first, because if you, if you can't have your out, if you can't, there's a side deck out to Sphere Mode. If you can't go into the Sphere Mode, you need, uh, you can't let them Sphere Mode you. So you have to start omega cards out of their hand. And uh, I also side into Gumblar sometimes. But you don't need to side much, right? So my side deck is literally seven extra deck cards. Because you don't get a side. It's the best deck. So you just side into different variants of what you want to do for the deck. I have ten cards in the side deck. I'm sorry, nine cards in the side deck. Seven extra two main. That are literally just different variants of my deck. You guys already know I have five different variants of my deck. They're all the best. But against certain matchups, some are better than the other. So why side with the other deck? When who cares what they're playing? They have to side for you. You don't have to side for them. Alright, don't forget that. Weak people side for the opponent. They have to side for you. Don't side for them, all right? The only thing we side for is anti-spell, all right? That's it, that's it. And then the last card is Phoenix because it's the best utility in the game, a uh, uh, generic link card. Uh, it's way better than Tornado Dragon because you don't need two level fours. It's generic, you just make it. And it's a link to go into another play later, like a Metaltron with an, uh, something else. So it, I think the best uh, card, uh, the, the best generic link to deploy. That's 15, that's the deck, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, drop a like, and uh, see you guys in the outro. Yo, that was the video, I hope you guys liked it. You already know Zark will never die. We're gonna, uh, you, I asked you guys the other day, you guys want me to release more Zark, I'll release more Zark. So let me, more in the, let me know in the comments below. If you want more Zark, I'll bring more. We'll bring this to a local tourney. We'll wreck the scrubs that play Brick Stars. We'll wreck the scrubs that play Brick Strikers. We will destroy them and anyone in our path. Don't forget, subscribe to be in our 10K subscriber giveaway for this beautiful Dark Magician mat. One of you guys will get this beautiful mat. 
Uh, signed by yours truly as well, if you guys want. And see you guys at the next video. Don't forget as well, do not forget, uh, check the uh, description below for all my links. If you want to uh, get protein, creatine, get on that. Get on the uh, lifting grind. And also, shout out to my boy Daniel Stern. This video is for you. I told you, Zark will never die.